hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video i'm going to explain you about intruders in the subject of cryptography and the network security so basically we are going to now discuss about all the threats so intruders next we'll have virus next we will have firewalls everything related to the security of our system of our device we are going to discuss okay so basically in this video i will explain what are intruders what are the types of intruders intruder detection systems uh, different types of intruder detection system the comparison between them and all I will explain this video okay now so basically intruders are nothing but they are the attackers who attempt to breach the security of a network that is they will disturb the security of the network if you are not able to remember this word disturb or spoil or break whatever so they are going to breach the security of our network okay so basically intruders are of three types so first one is masquerader i'm sorry if i am pronouncing it wrong okay uh, it is a masquerader is nothing but an unauthorized person will come he will use your system and he will exploit the legitimate user's account so new new words exploit and legitimate so unauthorized means you already know suppose you are using your phone you are an authorized person some x person some other person is coming and using your phone whom you don't know uh, then it is called as an unauthorized person he is not supposed to use your phone or he is not supposed to use your atm card but still he is coming and using then that is an unauthorized what do you mean by exploiting and what do you mean by legitimate legitimate is user is nothing but you that is the genuine the original user is the legitimate user okay exploit is nothing but he is going to disturb he is going to spoil okay of course exploit has a different meaning in traditional english but in this context an unauthorized person that is an outsider some x person will come into our system he will disturb your system that is he will disturb your login he'll disturb your details okay so that is about the masquerader usually a masquerader will be an outsider an outside person okay so and the next is a misfeasor so all the definitions will seem to be same but at the end you will understand the differences so masquerader is nothing but unauthorized person will come and he will spoil your logins or he will spoil your usage of the system okay so the next category is misfeasor in misfeasor what will happen is the legitimate user only will have there will be a legitimate user only but that user will not have the authorization he will not have the proper authorization so even though if there is authorization they will use their uh, misuse their privileges that is the permissions privileges is nothing but permissions they have okay usually it is an insider that is the person belongs to the organization that person is a correct person but still there is no authorization for that person even though if it is if the person is having authorization also he will not use it properly he will misuse it or he or she will misuse it those kind of users are called as misfeasors next clandestine user so in clandestine user uh, do not take me wrong if i'm pronouncing it wrong a person who takes the supreme control of the system and stop the access to the legitimate user that is some person will come and take control of your computer in such a way that even you cannot use your computer got it so that is called as a clandestine user a person will come and he will take the supreme that is the complete control will be taken by that person so that even you also cannot use the system okay this is about the types of intruders okay masquerader misfeasor and clandestine user got it next Intru intrusion detection so what do you mean by intrusion detection intrusion detection is nothing but it will identify that the intrusion is happening okay so ids is nothing but intrusion detection system okay intrusion detection or you can say intrusion detection systems also ids intrusion detection systems basically they will detect they will identify the intrusion so basically what this intrusion detection system ids will do is it will continuously monitor the network and check if there are any if there is any malicious um, content which is present in the network malicious content is nothing but unsecured or you can say you know uh, something which disturbs the security of your system if there is any unwanted content present in your network or not it will check the ids will continuously monitor your system will continuously monitor your network the data packets and all the uh, information that is being transmitted in your system is monitored and then whatever information it is monitoring it will check for whether there is any malicious content or that is whether there is any unwanted content it will check okay 
so it works in the background once if there is any intrusion detection intr intrusion detected that is if it identifies any uh, wrong any unwanted thing is happening any intrusion is happening in the system then what the ids will do it will send an alert to the system administrator saying that an intrusion has happened an intrusion has been detected take the necessary action take the necessary action so that this intrusion will be uh, what do we say gone or it will be corrected like that okay so this ids will continuously monitor the network and if any intrusion is detected in between it will send the notification to the system administrator saying that intrusion has been detected take the necessary actions in order to rectify it now okay. coming to the types of ids we have two types network based and the host based network based intrusion detection system nids in short and host based intrusion detection system hids in short so what this network based will do what this host will do we will see network based ids is nothing but it works on a particular network so who are all connected on that particular network it will work for all those devices suppose in our house we will have a router right so for that router if four devices are connected and we implement a network intrusion detection system then what nids will do it will perform intrusion detection on all the devices that are connected to that network okay whereas host is nothing but on a particular host on your mobile or on your laptop or on your ipad like that on a particular host it will do the intrusion detection okay in network what will happen it will analyze it is nothing but here ids nids it will monitor analyze and capture the network traffic and de uh, detects the malicious data again same story but here what will happen is it will have the list of possible attacks so what are all the possible attacks that may happen all those will be in a predefined list will be there like how we have predefined data types predefined functions predefined libraries how we have like that some predefined errors or some predefined intrusions will already be stored in the system okay so it will check the like Uh, with that uh, predefined list it will check the problems or any intrusions that are being happened if the if there is a match if the match is found then it will send a notification or an alert to the system administrator saying that there is an attack okay so this is what happens in case of nids nids will have a predefined list right it will compare along with that against that list and give the notification if there is any error done next it is difficult in large network implementation of nids in large network is difficult okay next host based is nothing but it works on a particular individual or host or device okay so same what nids will do it will do the same process that is it will monitor analyze and captures and it will detect it will match all that but here how there there is a list of errors but here what will happen is initially clean system that is clean system is nothing but a system with no errors with no defects or no attacks we can say a system which is having no attacks so in that system snapshot is taken snapshot is nothing but screenshot you take the uh, picture of that system okay if it is clean if it is having no errors then how the system looks like system in the sense it could be an application or it could be a screen of your laptop or it could be a website anything so initially before any errors or before any attacks how the screen looks it will take the picture of it now later on it keeps on comparing with that snapshot which has been taken okay if there is no change then we say that there is no attack okay so the snapshot which we have taken the snapshot of the clean system and the snapshot of the present system is matching then we say that there is no attack suppose if it is not matching if there is any change in the system like uh, the color or the you know anything if there is any change then we identify that some attack has been happened and that notification will be sent to the system administrator and the system administrator will be taking the necessary actions that is blocking those people or you know changing the address or changing the password or whatever necessary actions will be taken by the system administrator 
okay this is what happens in host based intrusion detection system both same it will identify the intrusion and it will send the notification to the system administrator but the difference between network and host is network it operates on the complete network whereas host operates on a particular device and in network based what will happen it is compared with a predefined list in case of host based what's happening it is compared with the snapshot of the clean system that is the difference between two got it so that's all for this video thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel and yeah that's all let's meet up soon in the next coming video